Welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at the coil feature in Fusion 360. So as you can see on screen, we have four activities or challenges, which is either going to introduce or develop your existing knowledge in using the coil feature within Fusion 360. Any of the files, the completed models, or any other documents you may need to complete these challenges can be found in the description below. So let's jump into Fusion. You'll find the coil under Create, and it gives you a preview of what you can use the coil for if you hover over that. We're gonna click on coil, and I'm gonna choose this bottom work plane. And I'm gonna drag out and type in say 50 for the diameter and click. Now that 50 uh, can be changed, okay, by just going into some of these options here. So if we just zoom in and see what we've got, we've got the plane that we've selected and we're gonna go for the different types. And the first type we're going to look at is revolutions and height. So we've got the option of, if we flip this, okay, where it will rotate from, as you can see here. We've also got the diameter set as 50 because I've sketched it out, but that can be changed by typing in. So I've typed in 60 instead. Now, what we're going to look at next is the height. So if I decided to set that height to say 70, like so, I can also change that, okay, by dragging this up and down as well. So visually, I can change it. If I go too small, it'll come up with an error, and I can change that there. So the height is, say, 80, for example, okay? Now, because I've got this as revolution in height, <clears throat> where we um, have the option here is to change the number of revolutions within that 80 millimeters. So if I go 5, you can see the height does not change. Okay, if I zoom in and go to this angle here, all you're doing there is controlling the number of revolutions within that coil within a gained or set height. And that's important to understand. So the change that number is doing a number of revolutions within a set height. If I want to change the height, again, I can change it here. Angle, we'll have a look at later. Section, you can just decide to change the type of section that you use. And what's really important now is to look at, okay, this section position. So if we turn this to the top, you can see what sketch I've got there. So my diameter is 60 millimeters. If I click on this here and go inside, that will create the coil within my 60 millimeters diameter. So I know the outside that is 60 millimeters. If I now change that to on center, that's now going to do the or produce the coil on the center of that sketch and either side of that is actually this section on here so if i change that to 10 what that's doing now is put in five millimeters either side of the sketch because i've got it on center and then again i can go outside so it's taking that diameter of 60 and it's now producing a 10 millimeter section on the outside of that okay so that would be 60 plus 10 plus 10 so it'd be 70 okay Sorry, 18 total, if I can count. So that's the first option that we've looked at. So we've looked at revolution and height. And if we click OK, it will then create the coil. So what we're going to look at now is create a coil again. So select the bottom work plane, sketch out a circle of the diameter, and click Enter. And we're going to look at this time, rather than doing revolution and height, we're going to go down to the second option, so revolution and pitch. Again, we've got the option of where this work takes from. And again, we've got the option of changing the diameter and this time the revolutions. Now, if we look from this side, OK, we've got revolution and pitch. So again, we could change this. OK, but this time what that's doing, OK, it is creating eight OK, revolutions, but within a pitch. So the pitch. OK, as you can see here, OK, is changing on here by dragging up and down. So I can set this, OK, of a pitch. So this is the distance, OK, of 40 millimetres. But this time we're going eight. So if I just change this to one, for example, OK, what we've got here is one revolution of a pitch of 40 millimetres in, in sort of the height there. If we then go to two, has created another 40 millimeters with one revolution. 
and then so on if you start adding extra okay revolutions okay so you see you could create a very big design there so that is controlling okay and creating a coil using revolution and pitch again we've got the options of changing the okay section so this time we've chosen square and we might come to change that to say three for example and then we've got the options again of what the sectional size will be so what size that square is going to be and again if we go to the top okay we could decide if it's going to be okay outside inside or on center and if we click ok i've now created a coil using and setting the revolution and pitch we're going to look at yet another option of creating a coil so if we go to create we're going to coil we're going to sketch out the diameter and hit enter and what we've got here if i just go to the home we're going to choose height and pitch this time and if we go to this view you'll see what happens if we zoom out slightly so we've got the set diameter and again this could be changed and as you see the diameter changes we've got the height so we're going to go for say 100 and within that we've then got the pitch so as you can see what we're changing now is the pitch okay within a set height so we could change that to say 50 okay and that pitch changes so the distance between each of those sort of coils or spirals but it's working within the same height this time and again we could go up here and start to change the section so this time i'm going to go for say an external triangle and this time i'm going to go on the outside so if we go to top view it's going on the outside of that diameter that i've done and again i can change this depending on what i want to change it to so this time okay we've worked through now okay we've gone to the height and pitch so we've gone through the first three okay options within the spiral or the coil and then next we're going to go and create what's called a spiral so the last option in the coil tool or feature is creating a spiral so as you can see here coil basically twists this material around okay and it creates this coil as you can see here that extrudes okay to the height that is set however if you go to spiral this is going to create a spiral that's essentially okay doesn't have any particular height to it apart from the sectional height so if i set that to 10 for example okay and we look from this angle here that is 10 millimeters okay in total there and then we still again have got a few different options here so we could decide on how that's going to rotate okay in which direction by flipping that again we've got options of diameter and if i just move that out of the way this time we've got options of revolution so if we go to two you can see it's spiraling around twice around that to diameter if we then go to four it's bound around four times around that. And if you look through the top, you can see what's happening here. Okay, so we've got four spirals, okay, starting from that 60 uh, millimeters. Again, we could control the different section. So we could do, say, a circular section to create that design. And then what we've got here, we've got this going on the outside. So that's going on the outside of that. If you look what happens is when we go in there, we've got the inside. So it's starting from the inside of that circle and working our way out. And if we go to the on center, okay, the sketch is again starting on the center of that and spiraling out. So again, you've got all these different options in here, okay, to create that spiral. And if we click OK, we've then created a spiral design using a circular cross section. The last option we're going to look at when creating a coil is to create an angled coil. So we're going to go and type in 50 millimeters as we've done before. And we're going to go up to, say, 
any of these options here. So we're just going to go to revolution and height. So I'm going to go to here. I'm going to set my height to be, say, 80. Oh, sorry, diameter to be 80, sorry, and my height to be 80 as well. Yeah, there we go. So 80 by 80. So as you can see, that's what we've got. Now, we've, we've messed around with all these different options here in terms of sexual analysis, size, okay, and so on. But what we haven't really looked at, okay, is the angle. So if I go to this front and I type in, say, 20 degrees, so I'll click on that again, 20 degrees. What that's doing, it's taken the, the coil, which we've started off at, okay, 80 millimeters. That is spying around and then gradually getting bigger, okay, by the angle here of 20 degrees. If we put minus 20, okay, do the opposite, okay? It's going to spiral up to the height of 80, okay, with a diameter of 80. Okay, the center okay of that diameter, and then this time it's gradually getting smaller, okay, by 20 degrees. And again, you've got lots of different options in, in terms of where you want that to obviously to spiral from. Now, if it does come up with an error there, is it can't actually create that. So it can't create this design in terms of that many revolutions and that cross section. Okay, it can't create that within the inside so you may have to change the options in there so if you ever come up with an error it's basically saying it cannot physically create that within the dimensions you've created and as you can see if you click ok we've now created a coil of a certain height and diameter but we've now added the angle to it so that's how you can create that sort of design in fusion thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.